morning everyone Kathy here and today we're doing uh, another one of our elegant soap treats uh, this one's gonna have a citrus theme so I am fragrancing this in a blend of uh, orange peel Sibilla and yuzu fragrances and these are both from Brambleberry very citrusy Mm, smells wonderful together. Um, I just had a little bit of the orange peel left, so that's why I thought I'd throw it in with the yuzu. Um, I'm coloring this kind of the same way I did the last lavender soap. I'm going to layer yellow across the bottom, which I'm coloring in a blend of Mad Micah's Bright Yellow Raincoat, which I had not used before. And then I also threw some of the Crafter's Choice uh, Super Sparkle Diamonds Mica Powder in there just to give it a little glistening effect. And then on the top, we're doing white with the titanium dioxide as well as some more of that uh, diamond mica powder. So on the top, I plan on texturing, putting in my spacers, and then I'm going to sprinkle some calendula petals as well as some of my dried citrus slices. Now, these I have, I, I thought, what can I do to gussy them up a little bit uh, instead of just having a plain slice? So what I did was I took some clear melt and pour, melted it down, and then I had a blend of, I had a little bit of my iridescent super sparkle glitter left, so I added some uh, purple, uh, like a lilac uh, sugar in with it, put it in a jar, shook it up. And so I dipped, I held my slices just by one corner, dipped it in the melt and pour, and then sugared and glittered most of the citrus slices. So I have some pink grapefruit, I have lemon, and I have orange slices. So we're going to get a little bit of each on, on top of the soaps, uh, along with the Columbia Pup calendula petals and of course some glitter so that's my plan and we'll see if it works out this should be really pretty hopefully hopefully um just try and get this stuff where i'm not going to knock it over that's all i need is titanium dioxide all over my table uh anyway uh, let's see i'll get my Lie water in here. I get a new dishwasher today. I'm so excited. The dishwasher that came with the house, it's like eight years old now, but um, it's noisy as heck. And since we are redoing our kitchen cupboards, just the doors, the door fronts, and then we're getting a new uh, granite countertop. So we thought, oh, this is a good time to get a new dishwasher to match kind of the stainless appliances we already have going on in there. So that's coming up in the next week to two weeks. We should have our kitchen all done. All right, so we're going to get blending. And then we'll uh, divide off in half. fragrancing and pouring. I'll go ahead and pour that off. Set that there for a second. All right. We will, I think, a little bit more. Okay. So we'll set this off. I'm going to leave that for the white on top. I'm going to do this 
the yellow on the bottom. Just kind of scrape my soap back down into the pot and pour in our colorant and our fragrance. Uh, so we'll go ahead and add that back in. I mixed my colorant again with some of my soaping oils. So I'm not adding any extra super fat to the mix. Okay, so there's that. Um, can I put that in? I'll put that there. And half of my fragrance we'll put in here. And we'll blend this and get it poured. I'm hoping, yeah, I think you can see everything there. I'm dragging my electrical cords here. I need an extension, I think. <laughs> I've used yellows in the past that morph. They turn orange when you blend them. And then as the soap cures, they turn back to yellow. We'll see. I think this one, this one will stay yellow. this off here as much as I can and we'll get this poured quickly that's pretty good and so here we go beautiful yellow into the mold and we'll scrape this out and I can already see the glitter in there glistening which is nice from that diamonds mica sorry if you can't see what I'm doing here I'm crawling in my pot once again beautiful color love it love it love it love it Okay, so there's that. Now we'll get, actually I'm going to set this here and go over here to bring my stuff a little closer. Now we'll pour in my titanium dioxide. So let me set that here. Scrape this out a bit. And pour in the rest of my fragrance. Do, 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 do. Isn't that a beautiful yellow? Love that yellow. Okay, so we're gonna mix this up now. <laughs> Just hopefully gently, sort of gently, pour onto my white. We shall see how this goes. I think I'm breaking through, but that's okay. We will uh, 
get a beautiful swirl going. I just wanted nice yellow and white soap, which is what I'm going to get. Take this and kind of hope. God forbid I make a soap without making a mess. Anyway, I just kind of get some of this going on the top, although I want to texture this. But if I can get some of the yellow into every bar when I go to texture, then it will show, right? So let me actually get the wider end of this. Maybe I can sweep more of this yellow, there we go, into the middle. Beautiful colors. Look at that. Isn't that just gorgeous? Just kind of wisping this yellow into the top. And we're gonna let that sit. I'm gonna put my dividers in. And when it gets a little thicker, I'll actually texture in each of the dividers. Because I don't wanna have what happened last time, the soap set up and it kind of mushed as I was putting these in. I don't want that to happen again. So we're just gonna push that down. I'm gonna use this kind of so I don't get my, yeah, see it's going over the top. That's okay. That's okay, because I can get that out. I'm not worried. So we're gonna let this set a few minutes or a couple minutes until I can texture it. And then we'll be back to uh, decorate it up. It shouldn't take too long. So we'll just keep testing it until it gets ready to kind of texture a bit. And then we'll come back and we'll do the fun stuff. So I'm going to put you on pause for a moment. I'll take my gloves off. And we'll come back, we'll texture and have some fun. Okay, so I think we're ready to texture just a little bit. Um, I just want it gentle, a gentle texture. And I think I've got it going good here. So what I'm doing, I don't know what that is, is I'm just doing one side, reaching down and sliding up over the top just to bring some more of that yellow up over the top and give it a little bit of interest, like so. And then I find my divider and I'm doing the same thing, just to kind of wisp it over the top on one side. I think I'm only gonna do one side. I think it looks really pretty. This one must have more white on top. Anyway, every bar will be a little different. There we go, there's some yellow. Isn't that pretty? This is the time of year when citrus fruits start really coming out in the stores here. Uh, you know, you get your nice oranges and grapefruits and, and such. So I thought this would be a good soap to add to this collection I'm doing. And it's early Saturday morning here. It's so cold outside. I thought, oh, I'm going to get my soap made. 
I was snuggling with my puppies, which uh, Smokey loves to just snuggle into the side of my leg and just bury his nose there and stay there. He's so cute. Okay, come on, get back here. There we go. Just trying to get the little foop on the top. Okay, so some of these are going to look a little more white on the top than others, which is fine. You go with what you got, right? I think we'll hit these one more time because they're kind of settling. Okay. I just really want it to look uniquely uh, textured just on one side. I think we're doing pretty good here. I could play with soap all day long, really. It's just so much fun. And it's so relaxing. I think I'm pretty much done here. I think just hitting everyone just one more time. Okay, that's good. We'll tuck you there. Now, I think I'm going to hit the clinge of the petals on the top untextured side just a little bit I don't want tons up there just enough for an accent like so aren't these beautiful these are turning out really nice and then I'm going to come back along and just kind of press them down a little bit more with my finger just gently, just so they're making contact a little more. Oh, this is going to be the most beautiful citrus soap. You could have, I suppose, used some dried orange zest on this. If I had thought about it before now, I would have done that. But the petals look very nice. Get out of there. Okay, I think, I think I look pretty good here. So I'm just going to kind of just tap them just gently. I'm not making contact with the soap really with my finger. Just, just kind of touching the petals down to the top. Because I don't want them all to fall off when I take these soaps out. Which some of them will. Okay, so there's, there's that. Um, now I'm going to hit it with just a little bit of glitter and then I'm gonna put in my citrus slices. So I've got my iridescent super sparkle. Wow, doesn't that just shimmer? Love it, love it. bit more. Oh, and it smells so good. All right. There's that. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Just gorgeous. I'm going to take this little guy off here, though. He's not so gorgeous. And now for our slices. So... I'm just going to put them, I think like so, 
on one end. So we'll start with our pink grapefruit. I made just enough to do one row of each fruit on the top, like so. And then let's see, we'll get our oranges. like so. Oh, just beautiful. And it does, it looks like sugared candied fruit on the top. Really pretty. Now for our lemons. And you, of course, just pull these out before you use it. For those of you who are thinking, why it's going to stop up your drain. Please, people. Okay, so where's that where I poured it there? Kind of cover up that spot where I pulled that little piece out. I think that looks fantabulous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. So I'll bring you in for a close-up. And away we go. And here we are. Isn't that beautiful? And look at those grapefruits. Those are gorgeous. The oranges. I think this is the perfect looking citrus soap. And it smells wonderful with that blend of orange peel and yuzu. Love it, love it, love it. So we'll be back and I'll show you the final product. Okay, so we're back and I have these out of the mold now. And aren't they just really the prettiest little yellow and white bars? Not so little. These are pretty substantial. But uh, I'll tell you, my whole basement smells like citrus. I love this smell. It's not overpowering. It's a beautiful, refreshing Mm, blend of yuzu and orange peel. It's just, I can't say enough. I love a good citrusy soap. It's one of my husband's favorites. Uh, anything citrus smelling, tropical smelling. Uh, so there you can see which ones have the, the uh, pink grapefruit and orange and a lemon. I mean, they're just, they're just gorgeous. And so if, if you're um, one of my subscription box people, you can look for these to go out, uh, assortment of these to go out the end of December in your December subscription boxes. Uh, over on Etsy, I do have subscription boxes. I mail them at the, at the end of every month. And you get five different uh, products of mine in your subscription box. Uh, it's a three-month subscription. So check that out. I'll put a link below in the box. But uh, this is an example of what you'll see at the end of December when I mail out the subscription boxes. So we have our, our beautiful citrus that we just made. And we have our, our lavender soaps. Aren't they gorgeous? Um, we have our sweet rain cake slices and then our lilac soaps. And I have more in the works as well. Restocking my shelves and uh, just getting some beautiful products together to lift your mood and your spirits uh, during this uh, long winter we've got ahead of us. Uh, especially here in uh, eastern Canada. Winter seems to last for six months. But anyway, uh, I do appreciate all of you tuning in for this. And uh, like I said, check out my Etsy shop. And if you're interested in the subscription boxes, let me know. Um, it's the same kind of products go out in our, uh, oh gosh, grab bags. So if you're not interested in committing to a three-month subscription, you can buy a grab bag uh, one at a time. And those are $25 plus shipping. But another good deal. You get five products in those as well. So, but uh, this is it for our citrus soaps. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Check us out over on Etsy and Facebook and Instagram at Dirty Booty Soaps. 
And uh, if you haven't done so and you'd like to see more, hit subscribe and ring the bell and you'll be notified whenever a new video pops up. And uh, I'm going to keep working on some more uh, beautiful soaps to add to my collection for you all on Etsy. So thanks again for watching and we'll catch you all on the next video. Bye for now.